If you are ready. Hi, I'm Sarah Wheaton, Politico's chief policy correspondent. I'm here in a little bit of a sunny Parc Saint Contenaire. We're sitting here on a sofa to evoke the infamous Sofa Gate. And we are here to talk about um, the trials and tribulations of women leaders in the European arena. Can you bring us somewhere to somewhere, a moment in your history when you actually experienced your Sofagate moment? I remember in my first executive position, I was traveling around to meet in different countries, the people who were reporting to me, and I got to uh, one of the Nordic countries, in fact, and um, I was walking around looking for the offices, saw a few guys coming uh, into, and they walked into a room, and one of them looks out and say, uh, the coffee hasn't arrived, would you please bring the coffee? Yes, where's the coffee? I say, like, <laughs> so he said, it's just next door. And I walk into this small kitchen, and I, uh, there is like a small thing with uh, cookies and everything ready, and you just need to pull the, the coffee in the, in the coffee pot. And I did, and I put it, and I rolled it in, and I sat down and say, hello, here's the coffee. I'm Cecilia. <laughs> and they realized that I was their new boss. Uh, and of course, super embarrassing for them, but for me, actually a little bit funny. I mean, <laughs> Sometimes it happens. You give an interview, there is a public event, there are men, leading men, there are leading women, there is a lot of TV and a lot of uh, press around you, and then you see that there are two, three men standing next to me, being also in an important position on what they are doing, simply going out with the elbow, pushing you out of the picture. And this is something, when you just experience, you think, no, it's not possible, so we are all civilized people. My sofa gate, I think, is a lot about this day-to-day -day ordinary sexism that often doesn't get called out and you don't realize anymore, but it actually hurts. I've been, for instance, in panels, uh, being the only women, and you know, I've taken the opportunity to say, well, that's not normal. And it depends. Sometimes you can get challenged. Sometimes there's a dialogue, you know, that starts to, to really try to improve that. You're far stronger if you're united. So women's networks are absolutely important. I'm a big fan of quota, of binding measures, and this has to do with more women in economic power positions, more women in political power positions. We still carry some historical views on women compared to men that's very hard to break. And it's only breakable through uh, making different leadership and show the way for, for other leaders to do so the same. Many of the American companies have actually changed that because they measure their leader on diversity. Mm. And what you measure, you get. Unfortunately, many of the European corporates have not followed at the same speed. We need to transform the way we are using power. It's called feminist leadership. And it's ultimately exactly about transforming our societies. And for me, it's also dismantling patriarchy because that's what I would like to see happening you know in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. What advice would you have for ambitious young women who want to be influential but you know are seeing what's happening to you seeing what happened to President von der Leyen and, and feeling a bit intimidated? I often think about uh, the little girl that I was you know I was a bit rebellious I was always challenging the status quo in school and in many places and it gives me a lot of strength, you know. Think about the little girl you were and the aspiration and the expectation she had. What I recommend, especially to young women and also to young men, be angry and to all have fun with feminism. All women's rights, uh, they are not given. They are really to be defended and uh, we have to be very active in order to progress. Learn by watching uh, role models, work with people who uh, enables you to grow and of course be able to also take the choices at the right time that will bring you there and then sometimes also just like do the hard work yeah yeah <laughs>